Okay, so to make this shoulder pad, I'm going to be working with this foam, okay, that I have. This foam is about it's a bit high, it's about half an inch to 0.75 inches, okay, so that's what I'm working with. And the length that I have here is almost 7 inches. I don't need up to this, but I'm still going to trim it to blend it in. So in order not to have a shortage, I'm just going to work with what I have here. So this is just about 6.75 and then the width of my shoulder pad is going to be about five inches as so. Well. So by the time I trim it, it's going to be left with three and a half inches, between three to four inches. So now remember we have two shoulders. So to cut the two together, remember that my width is five inches. I'm just going to flip this now and place it on the fold. Basically, I'm going to place it on the fold and then I'm going to check my measurements. So once I have what I need, I'll bring in my scissors. And then I'll cut it out so I don't need this anymore. This is what you need. So once you have this, remember this is on fold, this for the two shoulder. So once you have this, the next thing you want to do now is to shape this. Okay, you're going to shape it in form of like an oval shape. So to shape it so that you have something uniform, you can just hold it into two and shape it, or if it's too wide, you can shape it differently. So I'm just I'm shaping this side first so you can see I'm just creating like an over shape okay so once I get to the midpoint I can now fold it over like this and then repeat what I have done yeah so just shape it and get something very reasonable so you can see this part is too sharp now so I'm going to blend it in so now I have shaped this now and this is what I have so far. So you can see what I have there. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to divide this into two for each of my shoulder. Okay. So once you divide it into two, this is what you have. This is what each of them looks like. So now this part here is what is going to go towards your neckline while this one is going to be outward. So this one now we can maintain this level that we have. In fact, this can be higher. If you want this really higher, you can combine two together or you get a foam with small height. But in the case of the one that is going towards the neckline, it has to be smooth. You don't want it just standing on its own. It has to blend with the neckline area. So to do this now, you are going to shape it like I said. So now you're going to try to blend it in now and then reduce the height by sharpening by sh sh shaping it. What we're just doing is just to make this really smooth and flat so that it can just conform with what we already have on our neckline. So you can see me just shaping this now as well as blending it with this. You don't want it to now be very deep and this is going to be significantly different. So just make sure that you blend everything in neatly. So you can see me using my scissors to just blend this in. That is what I'm doing basically. I'm just blending this in as much as I can. So you can see that now it's reducing in size compared to what we have here. I'm blending it in and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side as well. So you blend, blend, blend as much as you can. Okay, okay so in blending this, you can see the way I have blended this, I hope it's feasible enough. Okay, you need to blend it smoothly like this. Unlike the other one, see the other one, you can still see some gap here. It's not as smooth as what we have here. So you make sure that when you're blending it, you take your scissors as flat as possible and then use it to trim off anywhere that may be one that may be higher than the other that you don't want. So that's how you're going to blend it. So now I'm going to reshape this also so that everything can just blend with each other okay okay so once you're satisfied with what you have you're going to bring in your fabric so you can use especially if you are working with a skin tone mesh you can use like a a nude color of mesh of crepe fabric or 
bridal satin like this so that it's going to be really natural so i'm just using this black satin now and you can see how i'm just using it to cover it up so you cover it up and you touch it with that this part that is going to be external the one outside is going to be on fold like this okay so i'm just covering this up now and then i'm going to cut out this fabric so i can feel it okay i can feel it so it's going to make it easier for me but if you know you cannot you can just place it on it and cut it out but it's better to just place it underneath it so that you know the space that the height is also going to take up so once i have this now i'm going to take my scissors and then cut around it okay so cutting around it now this is what i have okay so now at this point now let me turn it to the right side you're going to sew it but you can also use your aiming glue to just glue it down first so you can just cut some aiming glue now and then place it on it and use your iron so this is an aiming glue so you just cut a little bit of it once you use your hot iron on it it's going to fuse it together so you can just take it now and then dab it on it like this and then go ahead and iron it first before you sew i'm just going to sew it so when i'm sewing i'll push it inwards very well so that i'll be sure that there is not going to be any gap space there so after pushing it inwards and then you're sure i'll take it to the sewing machine now and sew so when i'm sewing i'm not going to just sew on the fabric alone i'm going to sew on the tip of the foam as well so that i'm pretty sure that my foam is not going to shift by the time i'm done so i'll take it to the same machine now and then sew on it round like this i'll do the same thing for the other one and then bring it back to show us what we have okay so you can use your pin to hold this like i have done now and then go ahead and sew okay so i've got nice to sew it and you can see that i sew it on the tip of the foam you can see the foam showing so now if you have a serger you can just take it there and then you weave off these rough edges or you use your bias to cover it up so just so that it's going to be neat especially if you are working with a fabric that first so now i'm trimming it down to the barest minimum just make sure you don't cut into your seam and this is what i have okay so this is the other one also soon so i'm going to trim this as well then we'll take it to the mannequin now and then insert this inside our our dress or blouse on the shoulder area so before i do this actually the, my, the foam i worked with is a bit high like i said so i'm just going to try to iron this a bit and then try to use my iron to just bend it a little bit so that it can form the shoulder for me very well okay so now i'm going to do that with the aid of my of my tailor's ham okay so i'm just going to bend this on this edge area now and then use my steam iron to iron it well so that it can just form this shape for me before i fix it to the blouse okay so i've hired this you can see now that it's no longer straight it's a bit bent as you can see so you're just going to tuck it in on your shoulder okay you can actually place it without the mannequin but it's better to just place it on the mannequin or on your client so that you can see the fits very well so you just raise it up like this and then on the shoulder area you get the midpoint and then match it with where you have your shoulder seam there so this round part where we trim has to be on this side for it to bend, blend with the neckline and then you push it inwards like this okay so this is what we have you can see our shoulder part so after having it like this you just tack it with your needle and thread so we are here and this because it's not going to actually stand in the most time you bid on it or you use your trimming to cover it up so whatever trimming that you have you just place it on it now and then use it to cover it up you can use small ones like this or if you have a wider trimming that can just cover up everything for you at once you can work with it as well so now after covering it up you tack your trimming to the shoulder pad as well or you just use your fabric glue to gum them together so like i explained earlier it can be higher than this okay so if you want it to have like a cape effect you can double your foam where this one is going to be 
with the same level with your neckline but this can be higher so it will just give you like an inverted effect like that then you cover it up with your trimming by the time you're done i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye